Hi guys, today we are going to be testing out the new Alice in Wonderland collection from Colourpop. I actually got this sent in PR and it's not often that I get like the new new releases, so I'm actually really excited. Like I've seen kind of a couple of, uh, you know, sneak peeks from this collection. I haven't really looked at all of these things too thoroughly, so we're just gonna kind of go through them together. I'll give you my first impressions, how I feel about these things as I open them, and we're gonna try them on. So I do know that there are a couple of things in this collection that uh, just aren't like, my kind of products and so I don't think that I want to open them and swatch them for you just because I know that is the kind of product that I'm just I'm gonna use it once for the video maybe and then I'll never use them again so there are some shadow sticks in here I'm not going to open these shadow sticks aren't really my kind of thing I'm not someone who does like a one and done eyeshadow look and I feel like this is the kind of product that you would kind of used to do that with i don't know i just don't really know what to do with the shadow stick i just feel like it's more work than just using a powder shadow so yeah like i said i don't want to waste products i don't want to swatch something that i know i'm not going to use but what i am excited about is the two blushes in here so packaging on all of these things is beautiful and the colors of these blushes are really pretty as well so this is the let's see what is this one called this one is called silence really really cute packaging really cute very bright red blush it looks like it's got a little bit of coral to it and there's another blush in here as well which is more of a pink one i just can't get over the packaging like i just think they did a really good job with all of these so this is the shade called oh dear and it looks like this a beautiful very light pink but i do think that it's going to be pigmented enough that even I could use that. It is a very light pink though, so if you're fair, it's probably going to be a really, really nice blush for you. The next thing here, I'm honestly not even sure what is. Let's take this out of the packaging together and check it out. So it looks like a little compact. It could be a little mirror. Oh, <laughs> it's a brush. Okay, that's kind of cute though. I'm not mad at that. And it has a mirror in it as well. I'm gonna chuck this in my bag. That's actually kind of cool. I've never had one of these uh, brushes, but I've known that they exist and it has a little like clock on the back. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, I'm excited for that. And there's another large box here as well that I also haven't opened that I don't know what it is, but I think it's a lip mask. If I'm not completely mistaken, it comes with a little spatula thingy, which I really appreciate because I usually have long nails, I use press on nails, and so I just, I hate tubs that I have to dig my fingers into. So I like when things come with a little spatula. So it just looks like a little mushroom. That's super cute. Opens up and inside there is a lip mask. Ooh, that smells absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna put on a little bit of this. Oh, it smells so good and so sweet. That feels really nice and it tastes delicious. What is the taste of that? I don't know, but I really like that. That is that is gonna go right next to me on my table in the living room because I'll be using that all the time. There are also two lip kits in here, so let's go ahead and check these out. The first one here is the one in Topsy Turvy. And it looks like there is a gloss which has some purple sparkles in it, as well as a lipstick. Let's see the color of that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I think I really want to use that. It's like a, like a watermelon red. It's not like a super red red. I appreciate that. The gloss looks really pretty as well. The other set is the one called Queen of Hearts. We're going to see what this is. Ooh, that is a very dark gloss which i don't think is really going to be my thing and then the lipstick let's see also a reddish more of like a true cool tone red i think i'm going to not use this set and just give that away new because i don't really use very bold lip colors i tend to uh, reach for more like nudes and more subtler reds if i'm gonna use a red so i think we're gonna test out the first set that i open i need to make sure i get these back in the box lastly is the eyeshadow palette so let's take a look at this i've seen a couple of pictures and it looks really pretty so here is what the outside of the packaging looks like is that upside down yes it is <laughs> that's the outside of the packaging and then you have the shade names on the back 
really really cute and then the inside of the palette opens like a book and this is what it looks like so i'm seeing a lot of pastel tones and a lot of not a lot of mattes and not really any deep mattes i'm a little bit like what do i do with this is that a glitter up top no that's not a glitter it's is it a glitter is that like their new glitter formula it doesn't feel like a pressed glitter at least so i feel like i'll be okay using that on the eyes and not being like scared of it but i'm just a little bit like i wish there was a darker matte in this and all the mattes which are basically this shade this shade this shade this shade and this shade are of the exact same depth so i'm just like what how do I use this? <laughs> I might have to pull in something else because I just, I prefer just having like two shades that are of different depths at least. This might be nice if you're someone who likes to do a lot of like super simple looks with like one shadow in the crease and one shimmer on the lid maybe, or you like doing all shimmer looks. Let me do some quick swatches of this. I should have done that beforehand. I can't really, can I pull this all the way up? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling a little bit here just to get these shades to show up. I mean, they're there, but I can't say I'm really impressed by any of these. The shimmers are quite lackluster in my humble opinion. Okay, so I do think that the black shade is actually a matte, but with shimmers in it. Ooh, that is not a nice... I don't like that shadow at all. That is just very chunky and a little bit waxy and sticky and crumbly. Yeah, I don't know about this. I don't know about this and i do feel like this is a pressed glitter but it doesn't have like big chunks in it so i'm probably gonna use it even though i'm not really someone who uses pressed glitters but i feel like this isn't really a pressed glitter so i don't know i forgot to show you close-ups of the swatches i'm sorry i'm not gonna swatch again i'm just a little bit just thrown off by how not good this palette swatched so I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna test it out though and kind of see what happens. Now let's start with the blush. I wanna try first the light pink blush and then we can do a little bit of the darker one after. I wanna see just if this is going to show up nicely on me. So I'm just gonna go in quite heavy here like I usually do with my blushes. Okay, that definitely shows up. That is a pretty, very subtle pink shade and I think that if you're fairer than me this is gonna look absolutely beautiful and if you're someone who don't like a pigmented blush and you're of my kind of same skin tone I tend to be usually a light to light medium depending on like time of the year then I think you're really gonna like this this is a really pretty color actually I didn't think I would like this as much as I do because it is quite light and I do like a pigmented blush nothing too pigmented but I do like my blush to uh, show up and be seen and that's a very nice, just subtle blush. So I am gonna go in with the other shade as well, just to see, I'm just gonna put some on my nose, see what the other one looks like. So this is the darker one. I'm not gonna use too much of that. I'm gonna tap my brush and then tap it off. I'm just gonna put a little bit like right here. Oh, that's really pretty, I like that. Yeah, I think I like this color a little bit more, but I think mixed together, they're beautiful together. I know this is probably too much blush for some, but I think that looks really cute. I'm just gonna take my powder brush and just go over it a little bit just to make sure that it is all blended. And we're gonna test out, let's do one of the lip kits. So I'm gonna put these on. I do need to wipe off my lip mask, which still feels really nice. Okay, so I put on a little bit of lip liner, which I don't think is the same color at all. I do think this is gonna be a little bit darker maybe, but let's go ahead and see. Actually, that was a pretty good color for, for this lipstick. 
Very interesting formula. I haven't tried a lot of the bullet lipsticks from Colourpop recently. This feels very much like a velvety, kind of like a velvety matte formula. It feels very comfortable. It looks nice on the lips. I'm not going to put the gloss on yet. I want to see just kind of how this wears for a little bit if it dries down, but that is a really pretty color and I really like the way it feels on the lips as well. So I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base like I always do. And we're gonna dig into this palette and I'm gonna see if I can find a way to make a cohesive look out of this that is not just like a super simple look, but something that's also my style. And I just, I prefer having just a couple of darker mattes in the palette and I prefer my shimmers to be lighter than my mattes. And I'm just, I'm not sure exactly how to work with this color story and I consider myself someone who is you know fairly creative and I you know I work with colors a lot and I usually am able to make things work but this palette is throwing me off a little bit just color story wise because I'm not sure what exactly like how does these matte go with these shimmers yeah like yeah I could do a very simple green look like that would make sense or I could do just a very basic pink and purple look which would make sense but I'm just not really sure like I could go the safe route and just do like the matte and the black in my crease and something else on my lid but that would be kind of boring I'm tempted to use this shade but I don't really know like how do I deepen that up with the black I feel like the black is just such a contrast and so much darker than like these sort of pastel -y shades that I'm a little bit like just not really sure <laughs> maybe I'll go with like green and blue and sort of play it safe that way that is a combination that I really enjoy doing so maybe I'll try to do something like that I'm gonna take one of the new what's up beauty brushes this is the R108 and I'm gonna use that with the I think I'm gonna use the green shade this one is called mad tea party and I'm gonna just make sure I tap on my eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna put that in the front portion of my crease that is very nice and pigmented i usually don't have too many issues with uh the colourpop mattes i tend to like them i wouldn't say colourpop has my favorite uh formula when it comes to mattes or shimmers but i tend to be able to make them work pretty easily and i like how that is looking i do think for me this is more of a companion palette i don't really enjoy the color story on its own the way that it is but that could also just be, you know, because because of how I like to do my eye makeup. Maybe this is a perfect color story for you and you prefer doing like very simple uh, one eyeshadow color kind of looks and you don't really care what's a shimmer, what's a matte, then this would make perfect sense for you. But for me, as someone who likes to do more conventional looks with a transition shade and a deepening shade and lid shades, this color story doesn't really make a ton of sense for me personally but again this might be the perfect palette for you that is a really pretty color okay you are redeeming yourself a little bit color pop i'm gonna go into the blue shade next this one is one of those that has a couple of like little sparkles in it so like a matte with sparkles i don't think i would necessarily call it a satin it's just one of their uh, different matte formulas that is a really pretty color as well I will say for being like pastel shades, these are showing up very, very nicely. I'm gonna take some of this underneath my eye as well and just sort of connect these in the outer corner. I do think I wanna try to deepen it up a little bit with the black shade. I don't know how that's gonna go, if the contrast is gonna be maybe a little bit too much, but we're gonna give it a go. This is sticking quite nicely on my lower lash line as well, so very impressed with this shade. Now let's take the tiniest amount of the shade Nothing is Impossible, which is that black with sparkles in it. We'll see just how pigmented this is. If I'm going to be able to get a decent blend here, I'm just going to put that on the outer corner of my eye and blend it into the blue ever so slightly. Yeah, you can definitely see some of the sparkles on the eye with this shade still, which I don't love it is more of a satin shade than it is um like a matte shade so i'm hoping i'll be able to get a good blend here yeah they do seem to be blending together quite nicely 
definitely not like my favorite matte black in my collection though and like I said I wouldn't really call it a matte but it is behaving like a matte would but it still has those little sparkles on the eyes which I can see some people liking that but I prefer my blacks to just be like a matte black but it does look really cool in a pan and I do feel like it it kind of goes with the theme nicely so in that sense it makes sense but I prefer my makeup to make sense more in a usable way rather than like the franchise or whatever it's inspired by I still want everything to like make sense in a way that I like to use my my eyeshadows but of course again this is just personal preference and I'm just speaking out of my own ass here the way that I like my makeup to be <laughs> but this is performing nicely I'm not gonna lie Okay, I'm not mad at that. I think that looks quite nice. Next, let's do a couple of shimmers here. I think I'm gonna do the green shimmer and the glitter. The glitter does scare me a little bit. Like I've said before, I don't really use pressed glitters, but I do feel like this formula is gonna be okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and spray this because my glitter primer is not right in front of me. And so I'm just gonna do it this way instead. I'm just gonna put that on the middle of my lid and blend it into that black shade. And I'm gonna save some room for the glitter in the front portion. The shade is okay. It's a very basic shimmer. It doesn't really have any sparkles to it or anything like that. If you're someone who just likes a very smooth, kind of somewhere in between a satin and a metallic, then I think you're probably gonna like this a lot. I do wish it was just a little bit more anything, just a little bit more. I just want some more, you know? And for the front portion, I'm gonna take the glitter. Am I gonna spray the glitter? Is that weird? Like, I'll be honest, this scares me a little bit because it does look a little bit chunky. Are these eye safe? Like, I know glitters aren't really eye safe. Is this even a glitter? I don't really know. I'm gonna put that on. Mm, that might be a glitter. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it looks really pretty, but... Am I gonna go blind after this? Who knows, time will tell. It's a little chunky. Like I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to get like a smooth application with this. Ooh, I kind of wish I didn't use that shade. Mm, this is not going as planned, is it now? I guess I just have to put on more and hope that it kind of smooths out as I go along here. I mean, it looks okay, right? Or is it a little chunky? It's hard to tell because like it's reflecting light in a way where like I'm seeing more chunks where maybe I put on more glitter. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's looking a little chunky. I don't know if that is the case on camera as well. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off with this look. I'm definitely gonna do some liner and some lashes. I'm just going back in with the outer corner shade and I'm gonna go back in with the green shimmer as well, just a little bit over this. Let's try to see if I can get a better blend. Okay, so here is the look all done. And I gotta say, I like the look more now that it's done. And I also really like these lashes that I pair them with. These are from Unicorn Cosmetics. It's a new pair that I haven't used before. These are in the shade style, uh, Bling Fairy. These are half lashes, so I did not have to cut them, which is always really nice. And I think they're beautiful. Super, super pretty. I don't think my application today is the absolute best. It took some finessing to kind of get them on where I wanted them to be, but I feel like always every time with a new pair of lashes that I haven't tried before, like a new lash style, it takes me a couple of tries to just like know exactly where to place them because I'm not used to like the length of them. So I really like this look like all complete. I will say the lipstick is feeling quite dry. Yeah, it's not transfer proof. I do want to put on just a little bit of the gloss over the top. So I'm going to take some of this gloss 
Um, I just put it on my finger because I don't want the doe foot to get all messed up. That is really pretty. I like that a lot. I do think I'm gonna like it more though, like on its own and not over the top of a lipstick, but it is making the lipstick feel a lot more comfortable. Sorry about my dog. He's very excited because my husband just got home. But I like the look overall. And if I were to like sum up my thoughts on this collection, I think my favorite thing, honestly, is the lip mask. <laughs> because this is amazing. Like I can't wait to just keep using that because you can never have too many lip masks or like lip moisturizing products is just like something that you use all the time at least i do and i also really like this little mirror with a brush in it that's going to go straight into my bag um let's see the palette i'm kind of so so about it could just be because i'm having a bad day or whatever like i don't know i don't know about this palette you guys it's just not really this isn't how i like to do my makeup not only color story wise but also formulas i just don't it's just not my favorite. I don't, the pressed glitter, I mean, it looks pretty, but I just, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. It's looking a little just patchy and chunky and it's sparkly, but it's tough to get like an even application with. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know if you love this palette. It could just be me, but this color story is just a little bit tricky to work with the way that I like to do my makeup. And it's just not my favorite. I think the mattes are okay. The shimmers are, meh at best um i did use a little bit of this shade like underneath my eye here and like i like that shade more than the other shimmers this one not a fan of just from swatching it this one is very lackluster so is that one yeah i'm just i'm just not a fan what can i say i'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that i like something that i don't i don't think i'm gonna reach for that palette again uh the blushes i really like these are beautiful i'm excited to have these in my collection i know i'm going to be using both of those again in the future. And I think that's pretty much gonna sum up my thoughts on this. I'm sorry this was a bit of a negative review, but I mean, sometimes I get stuff in PR and it's just not for me, which is fine. You know, I'm always excited to try out new affordable makeup and I like a lot of things from ColourPop, but sometimes they definitely have some misses as well. And I feel like that is the case with a lot of brands that are, honestly, that's the case with all brands. I was gonna say more affordable brands, but honestly, all brands have hits and misses and there's always gonna be products from every brand that I just, isn't for me. And that doesn't mean it's a bad product, it's just not for me. So I think that's gonna sum my thoughts. So thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see some more ColourPop content, I do think I have a playlist. I can put that right there. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.